Having airbags turned on saves lives, but in most vehicles, it's only those in the front who benefit. Last year, Sajida's son and daughter-in-law were in the back of a car being driven by a friend when it hit a brick wall. At that point, that's the last thing you expect to hear. Two members of your household just gone. Um, you're never going to see them again. Misha, Kyle, yo. Kyle and Misha were in their 20s. A driven businessman and a compassionate carer. Both died from serious head injuries. It's not clear why the car crashed on Warwick Road in Solihull last December, but Sajida believes they might still be alive had airbags been fitted in the back of the car. The impact was to the front of the vehicle, um, but yet the two back passengers died and this could have been avoided. Um, they would have stood a better chance at survival if there was backseat airbags. There isn't a legal requirement for cars to be fitted with airbags, even in the front, let alone here in the back. Manufacturers tend to add them in simply to satisfy their customers' safety concerns. In 2019, 86 people died sitting in the back of a car during a crash. Deaths that Sujida says might not have happened. She's now started a campaign and written to us at ITV Central, just like her son did when he was seven years old after he noticed his park was overrun with rats. My name is Kyle Khan and I was, I'm worried about the rats near my school, so I wrote a letter to the Central News. Kyle and Misha will never come back. I'd like to see uh, manufacturers take this very seriously, the government, to change the law where backseat airbags are a must. A Department for Transport spokesperson didn't address Sajida's calls when asked, but said Kyle and Misha's deaths were a tragic incident. <laughs> Sajida says the change would make car journeys safer for everyone on the roads. Lewis Warner, ITV News, Birmingham.